Welcome back to another video guys. Today we're gonna be going over all the brand new colors that Harley Davidson has to offer you for the 2024 Street Glide and 2024 Road Glide. Now we might mention the ST and the CVO towards the end, but I really wanna go over all the colors right here, let you guys know what colors I'm really feeling, what colors I'm not kind of digging at all. Um, and then me and Rich are gonna go through everything and see what he likes and see what I like and whatnot. Um, so before we dive into this, two things you should know about the Rogue Glider and Street Glider. You're going to have an option of getting it in chrome or with all the black components just like before. Um, and then there's brand new colors for this year. That's it. So right now, let's just scroll through the colors. I guess we'll start with the, let's start with the Street Glide first. I think I feel like everybody's been giving the Rogue Glider too much love in these last few days since the launch. And uh, we're kind of forgetting about the Street Glider. And I, I kind of really like the Street Glider a lot. The, the new body style looks really, really cool. So let's start with the street glide first and we'll start with the chrome option. So for the chrome option, you're gonna have that that whiskey fire. What do you I, 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 I kinda I kinda like that color. I, I do like it. I you know what? I like when, it. When it first came out I wasn't fond, but it's grown on me. I like it. And I do like the front end of the street glide, man. Yeah. I, I really feel like they really did a good job with it. Whiskey neat with the chrome looks really, really nice. Now whiskey neat with the black opponents look even looks even better. It does. That it looks even really better. Good. Yeah, I like that a lot. I, I think like the, if I was to get the whiskey neat, I get it with the black components. Yeah, really, really nice. Now um, let's go back. We'll start from the first one now. So it's gonna have that billiard gray, which is just the base color in all models now. Yeah. Uh, the billiard gray is nice. It's, it's okay. just too too basic for me. Yeah. Um, you're gonna be able to get that in chrome and also in black. And if I was to get the the billiard gray, I uh, once again also, I'll go with the black yeah. option. Enough. I saw the black one in person, guys. It looks amazing. Uh, in the last video when I did the walk around of all the bikes, the black looks amazing. Yeah. It looks really good. And then the black, the black looks good with the chrome, and it looks good with the black option. Yeah, it looks good either way for sure. Yeah. So I mean, e either way you go with the black, you 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 won't you won't be uh be missing on anything. Now let's go to the next one. This color I like a lot. White onyx pearl. It's it. such a nice color. I saw the color. I think uh, the uh, not the Fab Bob, not uh, the Fab Boy. I think the Fab Boy has that color this year as well. Um, and I saw it in person. And it looks really, <clears throat> really nice. And this color with the black looks really good. Oh. With the chrome also looks really good. I think for the white onyx, I'm going with the chrome. Yeah. I'm going with chrome, with bro. that and the machined wheels? Yes. Let's I mean, go. black looks okay, but the chrome with the white onyx is killer, man. Absolutely. I like that. It's really clean. On a nice sunny day, bro? Yes. Ooh. Now, blue burst. It's a color that I'm not really digging this year. I got to say, I, I'm, I'm not too crazy about the blue burst. I'm Maybe because I'm not a, a huge fan of the blue color like that. I'm, like, I'm not really into blue that much. What do you think? I like it, but it's not something I would ever buy. No, nah, right? No. Nah. Like with the black, it looks looks okay. Looks better with the black than the chrome. But it looks better, like yeah. I wouldn't, it's not something I would. Go but with. it's yeah, it's not nothing. Green, oh, alpine green. I, <laughs> for the past few years, dude, I've been crazy about green. I'm like, yo, like even when I have my low rider S, yeah. I'm like, I came this close to kind. Of, if I was gonna keep that bike, I was gonna powder coat my wheels a dark green like this. Really? Yeah. Right, I wanted to do green accents. I just love green. Um, but green, you can only get green with chrome. You cannot get green with black. With black, so you're, you're only gonna have one option. And it looks really good, guys. It looks really good. I mean, that all green color with the with the, the um with the chrome, and even adding some gold accents to this with the chrome together. Sick. Yeah, bro. You like the you like the green? I or do. What? I do. Mm -hmm. I, you know what I could see being done with that if that was my bike? Maybe some type of gold pinstriping. Yeah. Gold <sighs> pinstripings. <sighs> Some gold rotors. Oh, Ooh. don't get me started, bro. What? Some little gold accents <laughs> here and there. Yes, yes, yes. Absolutely. Okay, so let's go to the da, 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 Atlas Silver Metallic. Uh, again, so I like it. I like it, but it's to me, it's you know. And you can only get it uh, in the black option with that. Yeah, I'm kind of like. Yeah. Yeah. It's that, okay. that. Now. Is it? Uh, okay. wait. Hold on. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> shark skin blue. Love it. My favorite color Love for it. this year. I think shark skin blue is going to be the color for 2024. That's the color that everybody's going to want. That is 
sauce. Um, you can only get that short skin blue with the black component sauce. You cannot get it with the with the chrome parts. But it looks and, and if I was and if there was an option, I would get it only with the black components. It looks sharp. It looks really good. I saw the way it looks on uh, on the rope light. Um, really, really I nice. I love it. I love it. In the preview, I saw it and I was like, "That's it." What's your favorite? So out of these, out of these colors right here, you got to give me your top three favorite colors. Number one being shark skin. Number two, black. The black, okay. Number three would be the probably whiskey. Okay. No, the green and then the whiskey. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna give you my top. And number one, shark skin blue. Number two, that white onyx Damn, pearl. You know what? <clears throat> and then number three, alpine green. And then I do the black. <laughs> it's tough. I mean, the, the, it I, is. I, I, you know what? That onyx white yeah. is. <clears throat> I like it. A, a lot of these colors are very subtle. Um. You know, despite the uh, blue burst and uh, I mean, even even the whiskey fire is like a little too subtle. It's not too bright. No. It's not too dark. It's you know, it's it's a it's a nice red. That blue burst is for me. It's like it's not a bad color. I just feel like that's the car that nobody wants to drive around. That they're like, hey, come in. We'll 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 take care of you today. And it's like it's, <clears throat> the only thing is, it's that color blue. You know yeah, what I mean? Like they yeah. want to get rid of that one, so they're gonna give you a deal on it. Not necessarily with the bike guys, but I'm just yeah. Like, let me see. Let, let's slip over to the Rogue Glide and see because sometimes they offer different colors on on bikes, but for the most part, it's the same. Um, yeah, Alpine Green. You can only get it in Chrome. Da, da, da. It's gonna be the same colors for the Rogue Glide, um, and the same options. So whatever you can get in Chrome, you can get in Chrome or Black. So not, nothing's different. Because sometimes you, if you get a Chrome color. If, I'm sorry, let's, let's say if you, if you get the road light in red and the offer in chrome and black, sometimes the street light you can only get it in black. It's, it's weird sometimes, but it's pretty much the same thing here. Um, but the road glide in black with the black components. Badass. That looks sick. I love it. I like that a lot. That All blacked out. Bro, that right there. And then the white onyx pearl. <sighs> That so, white, yo, that white, yo, that white onyx pearl, and you can do so much with it because you can add so many access to it. So to me, I don't know. I guess it's because the front, because the shark nose. I feel like there's so much more area with the white. I like it even more on this than I do on the street glide. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because so, of the fair and the way the way it's designed. Right. So I, I mean, black is menacing, and I love it. The white is fantastic, and bro, the shark skin. Shark skin is still my favorite in this. Shark skin. It's be my number one choice. Shark skin. Let's go over, now that we got, uh, we spoke about the, the regular bikes. Um, I don't know if we're going to call them standards or specials yet. I think we're going to call them standards for now. Um, let's check out the, uh, the CBOs now. Yeah. Street Glide. Chrome. But you're going to have that legendary orange, which is going to cost you an additional $6,000. Again. So you're talking about a forty-four thousand dollar bike. Uh, you're adding six thousand dollars for a paint job. That's five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's fifty thousand dollars. Yeah, I will say this. That color up close is fantastic. Mm -hmm. It's you see all like you said the brush strokes. I was watching. It. You saw, First you saw thing it. I went up to it and I was like, well, let me see what he was talking about. And you saw it. Oh, it was fantastic. The, the detail on that on that orange is really nice. Uh, it is. That bike. It's it's great. I can't take anything away, and I'm not a fan of orange like that. But you again, another bike that you have to see. They had it right out in the front when I walked. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, bro. <clears> I mean, so when cool. when I first saw it in the in pictures, I'm like, eh. I was like, ah, eh, it's cool. It's, it's it's nice. But I'm like, oh, I'm not. Oh my god, about it. But when I saw it in person, I'm like, right. holy shit, that looks so clean, dude. Yeah, I don't, that looks I don't, really nice. I don't know what it is, but in person, you get to see all the detail. And the ar the orange is not obnoxious no not at all. sometimes you if you that that orange from 2022 yeah. was it 2022 with the cbo i think so it was it, it's i think i think that that orange was a lot brighter yeah I, that is a nice subtle orange that's not gonna it's nice yeah but what do you think about the copperhead which is like copperhead but it's really a burgundy i like it <laughs> it's I like really it. nice it's I, bro it was it it's was right really in the corner nice. and i saw it and i was like it's really nice. Yeah, you know what? It kind of reminds me of like something about the appeal of that color is like what attracted me to my bronze armor twenty one CVO. 
Yeah. Th this color option, I don't know. I don't know if it's called copperhead or not, but I believe for 2020 or 21. I think it was 2020. Or was it 2019? 2019 or 2020, there was a color very similar to this for CBO that CBO offered. I think it was 2019. Um, so, you, it's a very nice color. Can you put that with chrome? Does that give that option? There? No. So this is gonna only give you the scorch chrome. And then the and then the orange, the orange only comes in chrome. And then the the copper headed with the scorch chrome, which which looks sick. It, lo it does. It does yeah. Look sick. Um, and then they're not gonna charge you extra. So the orange is six thousand dollars. But the copper head is just no extra charge. I know which one I get. Which one? Copper head. Yeah? Because of the money you have to pay or because you like it better? Both. I like it better and the fact that I'm not paying $6,000 for a dope paint job yeah. is, you know. Yeah. Let's check out the um, the Rogue Glide now. Now that we spoke about the Street Glide, mm. Adventure Touring. Oh, not Adventure Touring. Grand American Touring. Mm. Ha, ha, ha. I got so mistaken now. Wait, wrong one. All right, Rogue Glide CBO, same option. Bro, copper. Ooh. Yeah, like again, another. Rogue Glide looks sick in that copper me, head. It's just I. And you could throw gold accents on that too. Yeah, you could. Oh, you could. It'll look sick. Oof, oof. Now, sir, lastly, most importantly. <laughs> We have the 2024 CBO Rogue Glide ST. And you got two options: white, golden white pearl, it's called, or Raven Metallic. And let me tell you, I saw the Raven Metallic in person. It is amazing the amount of flakes that that paint has. And that was inside, so I know when that sunlight hits that color, man, that bike. So it looks sick. I'm in love with the white. I've only seen the white on pictures and videos. But the black looks so sick and so clean, man. It looks so good. So good. But if I had to choose, the other day I was saying the white one. If I had to choose it, it probably will be the white. But it's neck and neck with the black one, man. It really is. Uh, again, you have to go in person to see it. I saw the black one. I was like, eh, it's going to be black. I'm like, well. It's a it's a different black though. It's, it's not it's not it's black. Not, it's, it's not, not black, right? It's it's raven metallic and it's like um. And then with the carbon, the mixture of the carbon uh, on there, yeah. the accents and the red and. The, how, how do you, how do you uh, like the uh, the forged carbon? By the way, I like it. I like it. You yeah. know why? So like I've had a couple of people tell me like ah it's ugly it's this it's that. Listen, it's forged carbon. You know what? It's different from what everybody else has currently. You know what I mean? Just like your camo is completely different from what everybody else has. Holla back, youngin. Woo woo! Holla back. <laughs> Holla back, youngin. Holla back. I, listen, that was for me fantastic. What I liked about it even more that it was different. Different. And that, the forged carbon. Yeah. I'm like, good. So mine's different from everybody else's. Yeah. Well, <clears throat> forged carbon, and I've, I've been seeing forged carbon for the past few years. It's. You know, some people it's like new to them. Like I've seen it before. Yeah. It's cool when it's done subtle. Right. So the, on this bike is it's very subtle hints of carbon, of forged carbon on the fender, on the seat cowl, and then the and the dash. Perfect amount. I've seen that that print on bikes where it's like all over the place, and it's like uh, too much. No, not for me. Sorry. It's almost like a crappy camo then. Yeah, but when it's done subtly like this, it looks clean. It looks good. Do I prefer mine? I prefer mine over this, yes. My, my, my print. But it, it is, it's different. Yes. And it's, it's, it's cool, but I've, not for me. I like yours over that. Yeah. But I'm buying the bike and it's coming with that and nothing else is coming out of my pocket. I like that even more. Yeah, yeah, Because of, of that reason. Of now, I'm not saying that I would never change to something like that. Yeah. But the yeah. fact that it comes like that and the fact that you can get that on a factory bike. Yeah, yeah. And it, and it comes on the tips of the exhaust, of the titanium uh, screaming eagle exhaust too. Right. Which is which is a lot of people they've been saying, oh that's that's so cool. I've never seen that. Like, dude, I had I had a carbon tip on my uh, two brother exhaust <laughs> on my little rider ass. <laughs> it's they, they've been doing that for a while. Just because you've never seen it doesn't mean it hasn't been around. Yeah, yeah. Um, so it's it's been around. Um, yeah, I'm I'm picking the white or the black, but it's when I say I'm picking it over, it's literally by hair. 
Yeah. It's just a concern. It's a, the Black Raven is super nice. So on a regular model, number one pick for me, shark skin blue. On the ST, white with a hairline. Buy a hairline only because the black looks so sick. And then on, on, on the regular CVOs, I'm going with the Copperhead as well. Copperhead, 100% for the CVOs. For me, it'd be the white ST because it makes the carbon stand out a little bit more. Yeah. That's it. Let, let, let me ask you something. Yeah. Because you got a 2023 CVO. Yeah. And that silver color. Yeah. Are you upset that this bike now... Are you upset that they're offering all these colors and these options now? I was extremely upset. Very upset when I was like... You're going to have to bleep this out. I was like, Harley effed me. <laughs> I was like... They came out with this bike. They came out with these colors. I'm like, if I would have known, I would have waited. Yeah. Yeah. You would have waited. I would have. And if you would have waited, what would what, what you bought? I would have bought, bought a white ST. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. So, you know, <laughs> because of that reason, I bought a white ST. <laughs> Wait, did you? No, you did it. I swear to God. No, you did it. I'm telling you. Did you trade your other bike in? The 21? Yeah. You traded the 21? Not, not yet. It's gone. What? Yep. <laughs> so you're going to have two CBOs, 23 and 24? Yeah. Dude, you're nuts. <laughs> you're so nuts. Listen. You I really did? I had to do it. I mean, I've been on... We've been texting back, back and forth for the last few days. And, and he was like, yo, dude, I, I'm, I'm calling every dealership right now. I'm trying to see, like, can, can you call Bergen up? See if you want to tell you we're there. Can you call this place? Can you talk to your guy over here? I'm, I'm going to go talk to my guy over here. Like, uh, I really want this bike. I'm like, dude, like, but you got a, you got a 23. And he goes, yeah, but I don't care. I want that one. And I'm like, so let me get this straight. So you got your 21, your 23, now you're 24, and your Challenger? He goes, no, nah, I'm getting rid of the 21. I'm like, but you're going to have two bikes of the scene. Two CBOs? Two CBOs. Same body style? One's gonna be to put the lady on the back and go for long rides. You're nuts, dude. You're uh <laughs> one's you're, gonna you're, be you're you're all over the place. I, I wish uh, I wish I had your type of bank account. <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> well, I mean, congrats. <coughs> Thank you, brother. I'm, I can't listen, I cannot wait. I cannot wait. Don't worry, I'll be here with it. Yeah. We'll be here. Yeah, I mean, I, I'll, I'll be in Vegas next week riding it. All the shit Kyle Wyman teaches, you'll be able to try right down the block on my bike. You know that 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 bike comes for it comes with a track mode. Yes. Uh, it comes with a race mode that that, that was dialed in by like Kyle Wyman's like preferences for the track. Really? Yeah. I did see that. I saw and I heard a little bit about it. But yeah. So I'm I'm not sure. I, I need to look into it because I'm not sure. Maybe you know how some uh, some modes you could only use them at the track. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, so yeah. I'm not sure. Maybe that's gonna be a thing. Or if it's gonna be just legal anywhere on the street, but it's just like super like stiff riding type of you know yeah, I would think the suspension would be, changes up and everything. Yeah, I would, I would think it would adjust something power wise, and, power band wise. And and if it is, if it allows you to use it whenever, I'm pretty sure that's gonna be a fair mode to be on. Of course. Jesus, dude. Of course. Listen, if I buy that bike, it's the other one's for touring. This one is for. You're nuts, man. I am. Listen, I, I didn't even know about this. I just found out right now with you guys, so I'm really surprised as maybe some of you guys could be right now, but yeah. Um, next week, like I just mentioned right now, I, well, by the time this video come out, or comes out, I already, I'm already in Vegas, maybe? Yeah. Riding the new ST around a, a racetrack with Kyle Wyman, and then riding the, the regular Street Glide and Rogue Glide in the desert somewhere in Nevada, so we're going to be doing that. There's a ton of videos coming out, ton of content. There's the, the Legends install suspension for my bike. We're already installed. The suspension is already in there. It feels great. So the install video is coming out. Then the video of my first ride, initial ride with the suspension is coming out. Um, a, 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 a ton of other cool stuff. But um, yeah, man. Anything it's else? Be, all I know is I'm looking forward to 2024. It's going to be a crazy 24 ride. has started. 24, I got to say, 24 has started amazing so far. Absolutely. Really cool, man. There's a lot more content coming, that's for blessed, sure. Blessed, baby. Thank you. Blessed. Yes, amen. Always. And uh, hope you guys are blessed out there as well. Hoping everyone's safe. And I hope everyone's getting ready for this rider season coming up around 
Like always, let the force be with you. Ride safe and enjoy the ride, baby. Peace. Dude, did you really do that? Yeah.